say good morning to the vlog good morning guys started just starting the vlog we're going for a walk with chip so i thought i'll jump on say hello uh chip is impatient now so we're going on our walk <laughs> you guys were going to the vet it was kind of a spur of the moment this morning i thought we'll go for a walk with chippy and then i thought we'll just go down by the beach and the vet is really close to the beach so just before i drove off i actually made an appointment we went for our walk with chippy they had an availability within the hour so we went for our walk with chips then we went to the vet uh because it was his yearly vaccination like there's nothing well, there was nothing wrong with him um, and it was his yearly vaccination because they just send you like an SMS to say that he's due. So I figured, you know what, let's just get it over and done with. You know, it's, you know, he's vaccination, so he's nice and vaccinated. However, throughout the year, he's always had like really itchy ears. And at the last vaccination, I had told the vet that and she gave me some drops. And every time he like scratches his ears, I put those drops in. Uh, but the vet did a swab of his ears now and she thinks that he has quite a moderate ear infection and he has probably had it like for probably the whole year since the last visit because I've just been like popping those drops in his ears which it's like I guess like when you take Nurofen where you know it's it's fine for now but if it's a long-term thing and because he doesn't like scratch it all in a row I, I didn't think to go to the vet because it was like here and there um, so now we've got the like drops and I have to do it uh, twice a day in his ears for two weeks straight and then go back to the vet. So he's going to hate that because the vet, when she was, when she was going to check his ears, like she had to do a swab, uh, he was like, no, no, no. And she's like, there must be something wrong because she goes, as I was, she was doing the ear swab, his back leg was like doing that. And she's like, there's definitely something. And then she, she went away and she did a check and she came back and he was but the good thing is he's detected and so now hopefully it will be done and hopefully like he won't be scratching his ears once he's done so we'll see we'll find out in two weeks i'll give you guys an update um and he had to get his vaccination so he's just he's not a happy gen <laughs> he's over there he's a bit upset the vet gave him a treat and he didn't want a bar of it he's like get me out of here i don't want treats i don't want anything and now we came home and i thought let me just put the first ears the drops in his ears um because my mum's friend is over and she like holds him down because my mum's a weakling uh so she held him down and we put that and then she she gives him a treat every day like he does his little sit paw paw and then she's like i'll give you a treat and he was like oh, i don't want to know you either <laughs> i was like i'm sorry but now so now hopefully when she comes because she usually comes most days of the week here so she can hold him down for me because sometimes like just the sight of the little like syringy thing it's like he knows sometimes it's not even that i feel like he knows by the way i'm walking that that's what's going to happen so i can imagine he's going to like start hiding from me so two days a week for two weeks good luck to me but we've got to get it done and hopefully it's going to be fixed and done so yeah we're home now um we've got what do I have to do? I've got, I just cleaned the bathroom. I didn't actually record that because I just, you know, sometimes when you're just cleaning, you don't want like to have to move a camera around and stuff. So my sink was getting a bit grotty. So I really did a nice clean there. I've done some washing today. I probably have to clean the kitchen a little bit. I actually have not had breakfast yet. It's going to be lunch now. Um, and yeah, just a little bit of cleaning and stuff because today i'm probably not filming because i filmed yesterday which i was glad about so i have a video ready for tomorrow so i might film tomorrow i feel like i need to wash my hair and i don't know if i feel like doing that today but for now this is what we have on so i'll probably catch up with you guys a little later with an update maybe
guys so it's later on in the day and I'm just quickly going to just fold up my laundry I was white today today uh, and we're just gonna head on over to the park with Chippy he's actually been napping all day he's kind of over it one would say my mum called him to go for a walk uh, and he just was not feeling it so now he's okay because he was out on the balcony barking so I think he's good and when I said do you want to go to the park he was like yes and so now he's kind of like loitering around here and I was like give me one sec let me fold the clothes <laughs> so I'm going to do that put them away and then we're going to go to the park so I just thought I'd update you guys but I probably won't chat to you guys until tomorrow because then after that it's dinner and watching Big Brother and nothing too exciting unless if something exciting happens I'll let you know if not I will catch you guys tomorrow Tuesday today I wasn't actually thinking of vlogging today but I did a bit of makeup so I thought I'll jump on and say hello because it shouldn't go to waste uh, these days I am finding like I, I just do my makeup so that way I'm ready like if I feel like filming or I'm going somewhere my makeup is done I do have bright lipstick on I was I was trying it out let me know what you guys think I'm not too huge into bright lipstick so this is like a really hot pink lipstick and then I've popped the like Maybelline lip gloss on top that to dull it down a little uh, I just feel like when I take photos and I'm wearing like a nude lipstick my lips blend in with my face and I don't like the look of them although and then but when you're wearing bright lipstick in real life it's like whoa but it turns out okay in photos it's just like a lose-lose situation <laughs> So this morning I've just been doing a few errands and things that I needed to get done. We did our walk and everything, we dropped off Nathan at school. Uh, and then I've just had to do little odds and ends and then also a little few things for the party that we're doing. Uh, let me show you some of the stuff that I've found. So way back when I ordered these like light things. There is a cover for these, I don't know where, what I did with it. Uh, but I have two, there's one there and they're the like uh tripod that goes with them and they were outside and i've just cleaned them all up and like wiped them down and popped the light in there to make sure it worked i've tried them out they do work and we're thinking that we're going to try and use these for my dad's party when we take like photos so that way like we have some good lighting but we'll see how we go but that was my plan for now i got these for me to film but they're just such a big clunky thing that i don't bother using them ever i'm just in my fridge now also my dad's really been into this wine but is this thunder guy uh eden road one so what i'm doing is i'm gonna drink some to my dad and then i want to use these bottles like we'll take those off as like my mid-table decorations so my sister's ordered some lights and hold on let me close the fridge so she's ordered some lights those like little led ones and our initial thing was we wanted to do it into some like scotch bottles but my dad only has some one liter ones and i don't like the look of them so we're thinking the lights would look good on the dark glass so we'll see i'm not sure how many she's ordered but that's what we're thinking for now. If not, uh, what would also look cute is some red flowers coming out of that bottle. So I've just got to collect, I don't know, six to eight of them. So um, I need to get people to start drinking red wine <laughs> or more of and collect the bottle. So that way uh, I've got about a month. Uh, so then we can have them ready because I have some ideas in my head. And that's sort of, I just want something kind of simplish, I guess, for the middle of the tables. We do have caterers organized, which is great. And they're providing a lot of the food. They're also providing like the tablecloths, plates, cups, cutlery. They're like excellent, uh, excellent value for everything they're providing, which is so great for us. So we really don't have to worry about the dessert. Um, I do have some inspirations for the cake. Uh, we'll see. I'll worry about it a little bit more closer to the day. 
and I'm just trying to see if there's like any DIY stuff that I need to do for me to like get it done now but I think for now we're not going to overdo the decorations and stuff we're just going to make it kind of more balloony so which is good that's pretty much what we are doing so right now um, I got a couple of things the other day from Kmart that I left them in the bag I haven't tried them on yet so I'm going to try them on and see if I still like them or if I need to return them because then tomorrow I'll probably go to the store and um film like another dressing room but also like return these if I need to so I picked up this dress from Kmart the other day uh sorry the lines here I've got my pants underneath I just wanted to try it on and I don't like the way it sits like it is an 18 in the plus section and it's kind of like it feels baggy I don't know if you guys can see the back kind of bit it, it just like feels a little baggy but then here it like around my stomach area it's a bit tight and then the length is super weird it just like I don't know it's frumpy like it looked so much better on the coat hanger I'm just I'm gonna have to return it like I really didn't think I'd have any issues with it that's why I didn't try it on in the store but I'm just really not liking I don't think it's flattering at all this length is horrendous and I don't know I don't really like it so yeah it's gonna go back now I also picked up this white top and I thought this would look cute for like when I go for more morning walks like it's long sleeve so it's covered but it's also really comfy it is so soft let me bring it up closer for you guys it is really nice and soft my sister got one last time she got it in the blue but they didn't have a blue this time however uh, this is an 18 and it was $12 but like yeah it's really nice and soft uh, you know you could probably wear it with like a singlet underneath if you want to be even more warm up but it's cute I like it I'll hold on to this because it'll be a great addition to my like day wardrobe for when I just want to be like comfy young man over here is napping he's not happy with me because I have to put those drops in his ears and the camera's in his face Look at his nose though, so cute. Actually, while I'm here, let's change out the corner. Done with the yellow for now. I think it's been here. Has it been here for about a month? I think it has. Let's do a new color. So I decided to just leave it simple and I just put my little dog treat fund, human treat fund box that's um empty because Stansy has no money to add to it. And then I just popped a little like green greenery back there. And then I've got my usual picture anyway. So I think nice and cute this time, nice and simple. Hey guys, it's Wednesday today and I'm coming at you from the afternoon. This morning I headed on over to the shops to return that dress from Kmart that I didn't really like. So I thought while I was there, I went to Target and I filmed a dressing room for you guys. So that should be out this week. Uh, but while I was in Kmart, I'll show you a couple of things that I did grab. Uh, I thought I would try these period undies. Now they look like this. I got them in a size 20. It says period, full brief, enco. It says heavy, so four raindrop looking things. Uh, that's some of the details on here now. These were $12. I've heard some like in in my curvy group I've heard people say good things about the undies. Uh, I did where else did I go? Oh, I went to Big W I didn't I forgot to have a look in there But I thought while I was in Kmart, I'll just grab the Kmart ones The bigger size that they had was a 20 which was unfortunate. Um, I probably would have preferred a bigger size I stretched them out. They look like that fit and I'm going to try them out tomorrow because I do have my ladies this month. So I figured I'll try them out tomorrow and then let you guys know. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm a little bit like weirded out. Um, the thought of them, I guess it's just like probably mentally and once you wear them and they're okay, you get over it. But we'll see. Uh, the inside has like this, it's like a double layer. And so it's quite long. So it goes like that which is quite great because sometimes I have the problem of it going places um now if you're someone who's like tampon only you might not like these um I feel like these would be great for sleeping especially like then you just like feel comfortable but you know what I'm gonna give them a go I'm going to wear them tomorrow and then I will give you guys an update as to what I think about them um, you know we're all different everyone likes different things but I thought I'll give it a go since it's the new thing now like 
I don't know, I guess I'm a bit environmentally friendly. Uh, it's interesting, it really is, to think about it. And I actually did like on my Instagram a little, uh, have you tried these? And I just wanted to see what people's opinions were. Majority, I think I think it's about 69 or so percent have said yes. So I thought I'll try them. What really bugged me was men commenting. Like I did not need men saying yes or no. This question was not for you. I've been trying to really limit the men on my Instagram page because I'm just not here for that sort of stuff. Uh, and unfortunately like, that really bothered me because you know nothing about this so don't freaking comment. Um, or be part of a poll that like doesn't concern you anyways I will try these on and let you guys know I also picked up a thing for the little chipster a little um, petty pet posse mat now normally I get mine off eBay it's a little bit different mine has the like black underneath uh, let me grab some scissors so I can open it up all right I've taken this off okay it's pretty it's Probably a little bit longer than the one he currently has. Now I've ditched that one because he's had it for a while now. It's starting to really smell and there's only so many times you can wash it before it's like just give up on it. Um, okay, feeling the grass, it is actually feels softer than the other one he had and a little bit longer. Which is not bad. Um, let's see. So that's the top layer. Then it comes with this, oops, this like green... I guess this sits on here so then it, it's a buffer in a way before it goes onto that okay so that's the collector okay, all right that i'm not a huge fan of um because it's meant to go through that onto here i'm not a huge fan now because my other one has a little drawer and the little drawer opens and then you just throw out the stuff that's in the little drawer which is easier this is like huge i can't really like flush this down toilet it's going to need a bit of a hose so we'll try it out this cost me 18 dollars uh so we will try it out and see and um if you're interested i'll let you guys know editing stands you here guys brought to you with a snapchat filter i realized that i didn't tell you guys about the period undies now i did wear them for a whole day and i slept with the same ones uh they were fine when i went to bed but when i got up in the morning they had leaked through so i do recommend changing them for sleeping i didn't read instructions so i'm not sure what you're actually supposed to do but that is my recommendations although they did do a great job i actually feel really comfortable with them so i actually I do recommend them i might try them in another brand as well to see how they go just jumping on to end the vlog guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye